I kid you not, I get easily 10 or more messages a day from people sharing very personal stories about mm-hmm. our our business about their road trips. It's not, well, I say about our business, it's not, it's about them. It's about their families. It's about their road trips and their vacations and their memories and how we are entwined with that. So I tapped into that and I hunkered down on the people who knew us already. And I, I pulled on my experience in politics, which is you go to your base first. Don't go chasing out after these, you know, if you're a Democrat, don't go chasing after a bunch of Republican voters. They're probably not going to support you. They, that, those, those aren't your people. And you go after your base, you shore up your base, and then you target those undecideds who could be persuadable. So you figure out, like, who are those people? So for us, our peeps initially were the people who actually remembered the brand. So that was 40 and up. And I was totally okay focusing on that. I wasn't going to start chasing after millennials right out bat because we needed to get the people who remembered us to know we were still alive. And then you start looking beyond that and you look at what are the things that really define us as a brand and that's road tripping. And to me, road tripping defies age categorization. It defies sex or ethnicity, anything. I mean, nationality, people all over the world like to road trip. And so I've expanded to talking more about the road trip, but initially it was just drawing on, hey, remember us? We're still around. Here's our story. Let's tell you what happened to us, but we're still here. Where have you been? Come come back. 